All right, y'all, today I'm gonna let y'all in on some secrets that I use to make summer coquettes. As a matter of fact, I'm, a, I'm gonna die, dedicate this video to my mom, Wilma Middleton. You know, she's a, she's a strong mother and she really helped me out and showed me the way, you know, I love her so much. I just wanna dedicate this video to y'all. Um, this is her recipe, but I added my own twist to it. Um, so we're gonna make some salmon coquettes today. I'm gonna show y'all men how to really serenade your ladies and we're gonna make some salmon coquettes today. So first thing we're gonna do, what I like to use, of course, is bumblebee. Bumblebee is, uh, you can get this one for like, they'll kill you in the supermarket for this one for like nine, ten dollars. This is uh, red salmon and this is pink salmon. What I want to do, I'm going to go for the red right now, right? So we're going to put this in our bowl. That's the red salmon. Let's just put that up there. Um, as you can know, as you know, I like to use uh, top quality stuff. You know, health-wise, we're going to be frying these croquettes, but health-wise, you know, you want to try to at least meet it halfway and use at least top quality ingredients. Cage-free eggs going to cost you a little bit more in the uh, supermarket and we're using red salmon and we're going to add in some unbleached flour. Um, the reason why I like unbleached flour is because as far as cancer, you know what I mean, um, bleached flour is, is kind of cooked at a high temperature. Unbleached flour, once again, costs you a little bit more, but you, there's no price for your health. So unbleached flour, if you can, of course, salmon, cage-free eggs. We're going to jump right into it. So we're going to put the salmon in the, uh, I don't know, I can see my mom doing this now. I'm going to chop up the salmon a little bit. I love that texture. That texture is dope. You know, make me want to eat it raw. So we're going to add... Now, Wilma Middleton, she likes one egg. I do two eggs. So I want to do two eggs. It makes it a little bit more rich in texture. And um, for guys who's doing a little bit of weight training or whatever, you know, of course, the more eggs, the more protein. So we're going to put that over here. Me, I'm a natural clean freak. I'm not just doing this for the camera. I love cooking and cleaning at the same time. So we want to mix this up. So you got your two eggs in there, one can of salmon. So we mix this up, chop it up. You don't want big salmon chunks inside your, your bowl. That's a no-no. We're going to get into the ingredients in a minute, but you want, you know, you want nice salmon chunks. I'm going to roll up my sleeves for y'all. I'm, I'm about to really get busy for y'all right now. You know what I mean? Now, so as far as seasonings, I bought, uh, I went with the rosemary and garlic. If any of y'all watched Boomerang, Boomerang with Eddie Murphy, you know, what I mean? like y'all put rosemary in my salmon. That's what give it that flavor. So you want to put some rosemary in there. This is rosemary garlic. Oh my God. It's going to add in the flavor. So we're going to shake a little bit of rosemary and garlic in there. Now, as far as seasoning your salmon, especially red, um, you don't want to over season the salmon. You don't have to do that. You want to just lightly season it, but give it, of course, enough. Second ingredient, this is garlic. Now, I don't have none tonight because I couldn't make it to the supermarket, just keeping it real for y'all, but you can use powdered garlic, it's very potent, and of course, if you wanna get some chopped garlic, of course, that's fresh chopped garlic, you can't beat it. But tonight, we're going with the regular garlic. I'm gonna try a little bit of this, just a little bit of tropical sazon, something new that I've seen. You see, I said the sazon with the Spanish accent. So I'm just gonna put a splash of that. So I'm doing something new for you. I just splashed it with a little bit of salzone. We're gonna put, now these are, these here, these are sweet onions, all right? 
And what I'm gonna do for you guys is I'm gonna dice it up really, really nice because you don't want big chunks of garlic in your um in your in your salmon. That's that's a turn off. You know what I mean? You want to turn people on with your food and show them that you took some time. And guys, this is gonna really, really up your game because you know. Listen, yes, tradition says that the lady, she's supposed to be the cook and so on and so on. But you do do th you do things like this, you just up your game, man. I mean, I think it's just a, you just be on another level with your lady. You cook for her. And then after that, you know, things happen that are very, very special because she sees it. You put love and care into it. So we dicing up these. Let me get a little bit of skin in there. So we dicing up our sweet onions. Now, as you go along and you learn how to do this yourself, of course, you're going to use different types of onions. There's a whole bunch of different onions. And you just go by how you like to taste it. Right? How you, what taste you like, what taste you trying to create with your salmon croquettes. But I'm giving you the core Wilma Middleton Quince advice uh, rendition. So you want to dice up real nice, real nice, real nice, right? See that? Sweet onions. So you got your salmon and your eggs are chilling right now. I'm a little hood, so they're chilling. And what's happening right now, as the salmon and the eggs are in the bowl, that fish smell, see, the, the eggs is getting into the salmon and it's merging and you're getting a lot of, you're getting that, that flavor right there. Well, I'm gonna show you something that we're gonna do. So we're gonna put a little bit of, just use your judgment. You like a lot of onions, put a lot of onions. You like a little bit of onion, put a little bit of onion. Me, I'm just gonna go by a look. That was one can. I'm gonna just do, that's good for now. Next, I like to go with some chives. These are fresh chives from the supermarket. We're just gonna dice up some, ch some chives. I'll fold it here. Adds texture, adds flavor. Anything green is good. Always remember that. Anything green is good. I did a men over 40 video. And I was talking about how us men over 40, if we want to look like, I'm 46. If you want to look like 26, we got to change it. Change it up as far as diet wise. God, so, you know, nothing wrong with adding some greens. Number one for health reasons and number two for texture. So throw your greens in there, all right? Splash, all right? What's next? So you got your onions, two eggs, and you keep mixing, keep mixing, all right? Keep mixing, look at that, look at that texture. Keep chopping it up. Like I said, you want your, you want to make sure your fish, your salmon is, is chopped up really fine. You don't want no chunks. The bigger the chunks, if you got chunks in there, you're compromising the ability of your ingredients or your seasons to get inside the fish. That's, that's the harder that the, your ingredients have to work to get inside the fish, and then when you make your, your salmon croquette patty, you're gonna have chunks, and they're just not gonna work out good for you. Not good at all. So you got a decent texture there, all right? What next? See, I go by feel, like I, I just I just like get all into it, you know, I like to. So let's throw a little bit of parsley in there. Parsley is excellent, and it's, it's also good for men over 40. And, um, Anybody, parsley is just a winner. So we threw some parsley in there, right? I'm feeling a little bit of Caribbean. 
So I'm also gonna add a splash of Cajun. Like I said, salmon has its own acquired taste. So you don't wanna over season it, but you definitely don't want to under season it, right? This is just, I mean, I'm gonna ask a splash of salt. You know, we don't wanna, we don't wanna go too far with the salt either, because that can also be, so we just wanna play with that a little bit, splash. You know what I mean? All right, watch this one. Splash, see that? So, mixing again. All right. Every time you put an ingredient in there, you mix. You mix again. So I'm smashing, 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 smashing. Because I want this as fine as I can get it. All right. A nice red salmon. It's going to be so dope. Now, I'm not going to make side with it right now but you know salmon croquettes you can make it with fries I like mine with home fries you know if you're gonna go fried you might as just go all the way fried so you can make it with uh, just about anything you want to have some uh, Alfredo noodles with it I like Alfredo noodles with it but you just can't go wrong with salmon coquettes. It's a good, quick, easy, like I said, you know, aside from the fact that we are frying it, frying the croquettes, it's good. I'd rather have fried cro croquettes than fried pork chop or fried, you know, any other alternative. So now we got a nice texture. The reason why texture is important is because you want the you want your croquettes to be patty uh, patty able. You know, that's my own I got my own dictionary. So we got our seasons in there. You don't want to over season. I'm feeling this right now. The last ingredient, like I was talking to you about, is unbleached flour. All right? How much unbleached flour do you use? Well, Wilma used to say, you go by feel. All right? So I'm going to go with a teaspoon. And you put, it's more than a teaspoon, but you put as much as you think you would need to hold the patty so it doesn't break up, all right? So let's just take a look here. So you wanna make sure you're able to make a patty. Now, if you don't put enough flour, what's gonna happen? Ladies, y'all already know. If you don't put enough flour, it's gonna fall apart. You put too much flour, it's gonna taste kind of bland and bready. Now to me, this looks like, it looks okay. Cause if you put too much flour, you're gonna overpower the salmon. You're gonna overpower the seasonings. And um, you're gonna destroy the meal. You're gonna be mad at yourself. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take a little break. Why? Because I want to make sure that these seasonings merge and you let it set so the seasonings really mix with one another and you know, you let this sit for about, I like to let mine sit for like 20 minutes. You know, prepare your wine, let your wine chill, talk to your lady, play some music. You know what I mean? So we're gonna let this sit, we're gonna cover it, right? Let it stay out, don't put it in the fridge, let it stay room temperature, it's already good. We're gonna clean up a little bit and we'll be right back. All right, so this is our last batch. They're looking so 
tasty and tantalizing right now. And this is it. They are ready to eat right now. These are quince croquettes. You can see the, the chives in and everything. So like, subscribe, comment, and um, press that notification button. Quince croquettes. There it goes.